and welcome to the eFresh.com Fruit, Vegetables, and Potato News. My name is Kim and these are this week's headlines. Japan on Banana Bender. France gets reprieve over subsidy recovery. Zespri International to expand kiwi exports. Tasmanian cherry industry blooming. New Zealand helps poor farmers in Vietnam. Growers say there are not enough bananas in West Australia to meet the demand from Japan. The WA banana industry is missing out on Japan's hunger for the low-fat food because of low production. Japan's banana imports are headed for a second straight record gain this year due to increased health concerns in the so-called banana diet and the search for cheaper food. Banana imports from Australia have increased 34% to 540,000 tons from the previous year. And banana sales boosted Japan's consumer spending by $1.1 billion, with high demand driving the price up 8% last year. But despite many growers planting this year, Carnivon's Sweeter Banana Company chairman Tom Day said there were not enough bananas in West Australia to start exporting. The European Union is giving France more time to come up with plans to recover millions of euros in aid given to its fruit and vegetable farmers between 1992 and 2002. The European Commission considers the aid given by Paris to be illegal because it gave French farmers an advantage over farmers elsewhere in Europe. The demand that farmers repay up to 500 million euros when farming incomes are falling has triggered protests in France. The French government was initially supposed to produce a report to the EU on July 29th, but the European Commission granted an extension to September 29th. Any recovery of subsidies will go back into the French budget, not EU coffers. Zespri International, the world's largest exporter of kiwi fruit, expects to double its sales in the Thai market this year thanks to its effort to increase kiwi fruit consumption and expand the business in the Southeast Asian region. Daniel Mathiasen, marketing manager for Southeast Asia, said that although Zespri had been in Thailand since 1997, it had significantly penetrated the market over the past four years. The company is confident that there is untapped demand for kiwi fruit in Southeast Asia countries, including Thailand. The consumption of the fruit in Thailand last year increased by 50% from 2007 to 120,000 trays. Consumption year-to-date grew by 100% from the same period last year, in line with the company's target. The Tasmanian cherry industry is in the midst of a growth spurt. The industry has doubled production over the past two years and is expected to grow another 200% over the next three. The industry is a major draw card of the National Cherry, Apple and Pear Conference in Hobart. Over 400 representatives from Australia and New Zealand have attended a field day in the state's south. Lucy Gregg from Fruit Growers Tasmania says the demand for Tasmanian cherries keeps growing. As the largest producer of cherries in the Southern Hemisphere, Tasmania have a niche opportunity to market cherries globally. It can send cherries into export markets such as Europe and Japan as late as February. The government of New Zealand has decided to help central coastal Vietnamese province of Binh Dinh to carry out a project on linking poor farmers to markets. The project has a total capital of 2.14 million US dollars, of which the New Zealand government finances more than 1.7 million US dollars and the province contributes the rest. It aims to help Bindin province to improve capacity for its agriculture business sector, thus bringing sustainable socio-economic benefit to poor households in the province. The four-year project includes support to help Tay Sun and Toi Hoa districts increase recognized safe vegetable volume and development of marketing chances for small coconut tree growing households in Hawaii Non and Phu Mai districts. Thank you for watching the eFresh.com fruit, vegetables, and potato news. See you next time.